Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of Sweet Bakery Tycoon on Xbox. Now this was developed and published by Baltoro Games and it was released on the 28th of the 4th, 2023. Now I've previously covered one of Baltoro games that is very similar to this one and that was Food Truck Tycoon. So you can find that video on our YouTube channel if you want to see that check it out and this is more of the same however this one is obviously a bakery themed version but the core gameplay is almost copy and paste identical it's always from the same sort of franchise there are other games in the franchise available on other systems so I assume these will come to Xbox in the future now the aim of this game is to make a variety of tasty treats and drinks for customers within a time limit making enough money to hit a certain amount of stars now you can earn up to three stars in a level obviously the more money you make the um the better you do now if you fail to make an item in the time limit they'll leave and they won't make any money if you make the wrong item you have to trash it and that loses your money so that's the sort of core gameplay it's very simple the the main majority of this game is the cakes so in this game you'll pick a cake you'll pick a topping and then also like a sauce stick it in the oven and then you'll put some sprinkles or some chocolate on the top of it you can also make coffees smoothies and ice creams it's a very simple premise each level lasts a couple of minutes but it's a simple premise that works really well and is really addictive when you're trying to fly through them now you can like auto click a lot of the things in this game so like you can push the right stick when the oven is completed and you'll automatically jump over to the oven and stuff like that you can push the bumpers for um coffees and the ice creams as well as well as holding the triggers to sort of give them to people and i think that's really nice it makes everything run a lot smoother i have covered a few games on the channel recently that have been similar in terms of like you're running a business serving food to people and there's a lot of sort of moving the cursor around the screen which just is unnecessarily time wasting and annoying now graphically this game is nothing to sort of write home about it's clearly been a uh, mobile port and it's previously also been on nintendo switch but it's bright it's colorful and it does the job now there's a lot of content in this game there's over um well there's 90 levels all in so there's 60 normal levels to work through as well as 30 harder levels there's a whole host of achievements to unlock as well using the money you get from completing your levels you can upgrade your ingredients and your like coffee machine and your oven so you can do more at once makes them a bit more automatic stuff like that you can also spend that money to upgrade your decor in your environment in the background of the screen basically it doesn't do much doesn't affect anything by getting some achievements but it gives you something to work towards now the gameplay is pretty repetitive i'm one of these people that will play like three or four levels at a time for like sort of 10 minutes and then i'll do something else i'll come back play three or four more levels later etc etc but i like to get three stars before moving on to the next level now this game is fun it's just as fun as the uh, food truck tycoon that i played it's an also a very easy 1000 gamer score it'll take you a couple of hours just playing through all the levels buying all the upgrades and stuff like that there are one or two little niggles with this game though um it says press x to continue at the end of the level or not continue press x to go to your upgrades at the end of the level if you want to upgrade and then it would just start the next level which is i think it's a little bug not the end of the world you can just go like escape out go back to the main menu and do it but it's just it shouldn't do that and it, it wound me up a little bit and also one of the achievements is missable so um there's one for doing all of the tutorials and now the tutorials only pop up when you sort of do the thing that's required to make them pop up so because i'd played these games before i was just working my way through the game minding my own business got to the end and there was a couple that i couldn't then unlock because i'd already upgraded all of my things to a certain level so i couldn't get the um tutorials to pop so i had to then start a new game to basically have the ability to complete my uh 
1000G. Not the end of the world, just a little frustrating and it, maybe they should make all of them pop up in the first sort of 10 or so levels just so that doesn't uh, affect people basically. But other than that, it's a fun little game, keeps you busy, it's a time waster. It's priced at £4.19, playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S, and it's optimised for Series X and S consoles. I assume that's just a nice steady frame rate and 4K resolution. But just like Food Tycoon, Food Truck Tycoon, should I say, I've enjoyed this one, and I hope that the other games in the franchise do come out to Xbox, because they are out on Switch and other platforms already. But that's that for this video guys, hope you've enjoyed it, if you have hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.